Narcissists love applying double standards whenever possible because this really confuses us and gives them an opportunity to attack other people and make other people feel miserable. They will do this with hyperbole. Hyperbole is when someone says something that's an exaggerated claim and is not meant to be taken literally. For instance, this was the best meal I have ever had. Let's examine simply the statement. When someone says this was the best meal I have ever had, there's simply two possibilities. The first is that this is meant to be taken literally. In other words, they've ranked all of the top meals they've had and this one is clearly number one. It's highly unlikely that this is the case because it's difficult to keep track of all the meals and many meals are incredibly different, so simply comparing them is highly unlikely. Therefore, the second possibility is that it is not meant literally, and it's simply meant to indicate this meal is delicious. When someone makes a statement, I suggest observing what type of statement it is and just raise the question, is it possible that this might be hyperbole? And if it is possible that it is hyperbole, see how we interpret it. I often point out that when there are multiple interpretations that are possible, we've got the choice between a charitable interpretation or saying that the worst possible interpretation is the only acceptable interpretation. And narcissists will systematically say that the worst possible interpretation for what others do is the only acceptable one. And if you disagree because you point out that multiple interpretations are possible, they're highly likely to come and attack you. When someone makes a statement that might be hyperbole, I suggest simply thinking, how likely is it that this is meant literally? And is it possible that it might be hyperbole? And then simply observe who chooses to take it literally if it is likely to be hyperbole? There are actually three reasons why people might take it literally. The first one is that they do not know what hyperbole is and they take everything literally. This happens with some people. It generally leads to rather miserable and unpleasant lives because people don't have a capacity for abstraction. They don't have a capacity to take a step back. So it's possible to understand the concept of hyperbole and not be aware of it, even though some people just will not understand the concept. Secondly, you have people who know what hyperbole is, but they don't recognize when it's being used. If this is the case and you point out that something is hyperbole, they ought to be able to recognize it. And instead of getting annoyed or wound up or being aggressive, they'll realize and they'll be relieved that actually they don't have to take things literally. But then you have the third possibility, which is that people know what it is, they recognize when it's happening, and they choose to take it literally. And the reason why they do this would be to create conflict. So how do you know which of the three is the case? Well, largely it's the tone of the person. In the first two cases, when they don't know what it is, or when they don't recognize it, they'll be surprised, they'll be confused. They'll wonder, like, what makes this meal so special? Or what makes this bed so comfortable that you say it's the best bed you've ever slept in? But then in the third case, the tone of voice says everything. If the tone is aggressive, if the tone is threatening, if the tone is there to try to make the person sound stupid, maybe that's the goal. And that is archetypical of someone who has got issues and is looking to create conflict with others. That is the tone of someone who is deciding that the worst possible interpretation is the only acceptable interpretation, and they want to use this as an excuse to create conflict or an excuse to bully others or to make them feel bad or remove some of the joy. They choose to make somebody else's life a little bit worse by pretending they don't recognize the hyperbole. Or maybe they simply don't want to recognize it because it's rather practical to take things literally when they're not intended literally. These aggressive techniques can work quite well because they make us defensive. If we make a statement and somebody attacks us for being literal, it's easy to try to justify the fact that we're not being literal. And we actually meant it with a bit of distance. It was just an enthusiastic way to communicate something with a bit of exaggeration, which generally, amongst normal people, is perfectly acceptable without being taken literally. When dealing with narcissists, remember I often recommend shining the spotlight onto them, getting them to explain exactly their reasoning. And this is the case here. When someone chooses to interpret something literally, let's see what it means, really. 
If someone says, this is the best meal I've ever had, that would mean that they've actually ranked all of the meals. But you know what? If they believe this is the best meal they've ever had, so what? So what? So what if they believe they have a ranking? Good for them. How does that affect anybody else's life? And even if they said, this is the best meal ever, so what? So what if this is what they think? If someone says this is the best day they've ever had, so what? Good for them. Who cares? This is not a debate of who can talk about things objectively. And the answer is no one. It's simply a question of somebody sharing their subjective experience with enthusiasm. And the goal can either be to try to make things a bit nicer or make things a bit worse. If someone says this is the worst thing that ever happened, then beware of that because they are trying to make things worse. If somebody chooses to use hyperbole to make things worse, that tells you everything you need about them. They're over-exaggerating things being negative and things being unpleasant because maybe they want to have that impact. If somebody's using hyperbole to make things sound brighter, maybe they want to have that impact too. So when a narcissist attacks the person using positive hyperbole, we can just ask them, what do you think this person means? Could you play it back to us using your own words? What do you think they are trying to share? How do you understand that they understand things? With narcissists, it's fantastic because they have no empathy. They are incapable of entering the other person's mind in a way where the person will say, well, yeah, that pretty much sums up the way I see things. They will say something where people scratch their head and think, I don't think that. How can you even imagine I think that? Only an idiot would think that. Why, why do you think that I think like an idiot? Like, what's going on there? What, what is that saying about you? It says nothing about me, because that is your projection. It says everything about you. So what's going on there? After the narcissist explains what they think is going on, we can just ask them, do you know what hyperbole is? They'll often say yes. We can ask them to explain it or to define it. They probably won't like it. Though of course they know what it is. But then we can follow up with a question. If you know what hyperbole is, how come you didn't recognize it? The two possibilities. One, you don't know what it is. Or number two, when you see it, you don't recognize it. Or number three, you do recognize it, but you want to create conflict. Like all conversations with narcissists, I recommend having this one in your head. When you have the conversation in your head, you pretty much know what the outcome is. And if using these filters, you anticipate what reality is because you see reality and you don't need to have the other person validate your perception, which they're never going to do because they're narcissists and they will never admit that they are wrong, especially when they are wrong, which is pretty much all the time. Once you know this, you don't need the conversation anymore. You can just shrug it off, but sometimes in public, you want to step in. Before you use any of what I'm about to share with you, pay attention to the surroundings and weigh the pros and cons. Sometimes it's a wise idea to step away from conflict, but sometimes we do want to step in to protect someone who is not able to protect themselves when they're being bullied. So in case you observe a narcissist bullying someone by misunderstanding hyperbole on purpose, you can do the following. You simply point out, I think this person is using hyperbole. Do you know what hyperbole is? See what the reaction is. Yes, of course I know what hyperbole is. Oh, okay. Well, first of all, it's fair for me to ask, because many people do not know what it is. So it's a fair question to ask. Why should I assume that you would know what hyperbole is? Many people don't know. I don't make assumptions about people. But secondly, if you know what it is, it's interesting to notice that when you encounter it, you don't recognize it. But the alternative might be that you do recognize it and you're simply trying to pick a fight. 